Chicago police have connected the same suspect to two deadly shootings that happened less than two weeks apart this spring. 26 year old Gerald Hatcher is accused of killing a man and injuring two other people at an apartment complex in April. Now he's accused of an unrelated homicide in May. CBS 4 Scarlett O'Hara walks us through how investigators piece together those cases against him. Back in early May, this yard is where officers found a car that had veered off the road and in the driver's seat, a man who had been shot and killed. It's the most recent of two unrelated homicides that IMPD has traced back to the same suspect, 26 year old Gerald Hatcher. I heard just big crash and I knew it was I knew it was a car crash because you know you can just tell Donna Lappin owns that property where you can still spot the scars but only if you know what to look for as I was starting to go around the garage these two gentlemen walked by and I said are you okay and they said yeah we're fine according to court documents police believe one of those men was Hatcher the victim's girlfriend told officers Hatcher claimed self-defense while the second man claimed the victim shot himself before crashing the car but an autopsy found he had been shot 14 times in the neck and head it's always been a quiet neighborhood you know and it just it was just shocking you know to see something like that by the time hatcher was arrested more than a month later he was already in custody facing charges for a triple shooting that killed a 19 year old on the northwest side in april hopefully this brings some type of closure to those families uh, that's one of the things that's always in the back of our detectives minds court documents describe the digital and physical evidence investigators pinned to hatcher testing on several bloody items from the scene on april 25th determined the dna was his when we talk about our violence in the city, there's a small number, you've heard Chief Bailey talk about it, there's a small number of folks who inflict that violence in our city. And I think this individual, we're, we're certainly happy that he's off the street so that he's not able to hurt anyone else. The final charging decision in the May 6th case has yet to be made as IMPD continues to investigate the circumstances. Reporting on the South Side, Scarlett O'Hara, CBS 4 News.